Hi, your brother Prater. Welcome to my page. I hope you're enjoying your day. I want to give you some words of encouragement. The other day, I was watching a basketball game, and one of the not-so-good players got fouled and went through the free throw line. Well, the crowd knew he was a terrible free throw shooter. So they started waving their towel and screaming to make him miss his shot. First shot, bum, missed. Second shot, bum, missed. Later on in the game, the best player on the team got fouled, had to go through the free throw line. Well, the crowd knew he was perfect on the free throw shots. So they screamed louder. They blew their horn. They waved their towels. Boop. He hit nothing but net. Second shot. Boop. Hit nothing but net. What made him shoot that into the net? He was focused. And also the crowd, no matter how much distraction that they put out there, he looked beyond the distraction and hit the net. So my word to tell you, there may be distractions that may come into your life, but you stay focused. But also the difference in the worst player and the great player, the distraction was greater was more on the one that was perfected in his shot. So there may be some intensity that may happen with you that may be different than somebody else. The fire might be hotter on you than somebody else. But just remember, that distraction was specifically designed to try to throw you off. But you know what? You stay focused because the enemy knows that if you stay focused and you rely upon God, you will hit the net. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you right now, God. Thank you, Lord, for your awesomeness, God. We come to you right now, God. You see the needs and the concerns of your people right now, God. God, we speak in God that you help us, God, to stay focused on you right now, God. Stay focused, Lord. Lord, help us to not get sidetracked because of situations that may appear from the devil. Lord, we're speaking right now, God, to give us clarity of the mind right now, God. And God, first and foremost, God, we give you our complete obedience, God. God, we're speaking, God, that you give us the direction right now, God. God, if there's anything that's in us that's unlike you, God, we're speaking, God, that you clean it out out of us right now, God, in the name of Jesus. And say about everything you stand for, by every problem, by every confusion right now, in the name of Jesus, we're speaking Victory right now. We don't speak defeat. We speak in victory right now. In the name of Jesus. We speak in, we are more than overcomers right now. In the name of Jesus. We speak in healing. We speak in deliverance right now. In every situation of our lives right now. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we speak in God that we need your power, God. We need your strength. We need your direction right now, God. In every area of our life right now, God. And God, help us, God, to be focused, God, on what you said and what you promised right now, God. Focused on your direction, God. Help Help us, God, to not look upon our emotions or what our intellect may think of or even what it may appear, God. But, Lord, we trust in you right now, God. And we thank you, Lord, for answering our prayer right now, God. We thank you, Lord, for the guidance, God. We thank you, Lord, for the testimony from this, God. And we speak, God, that we give you a perfect praise right now, God, in the midst of distraction right now, in the name of Jesus. And we give you the glory and the honor and the praise right now. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen, amen. Amen. I thank you for watching this video and I pray that it ministers to you. Be blessed.